Let me see uh, if it came up yet. God, it's always something. All right, we're good with our with the audio. Akim, let me just throw it in group me. Con. All right. Oh, <laughs> Satan, brother. <laughs> hey, his phone falls the second we start. It's wild as hell. All right. <laughs> all right, I can, but uh, I'm going to start it off now then. Um, all right. Uh, first and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to uh, also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and all sincerity. And uh, you know, I'm with the uh, with the brothers today. You know, we got the brother, uh, you know, Lahab, and we got the uh, elder Krab on the phone. And um, as the elder Krab and I were uh, talking, uh, maybe what, like about 30 minutes ago, you know, we were just talking about how Jake in this world they're uh, basically clueless. Okay, and um, with that being said, you know. That leads them to making, you know, poor uh, decisions, all right? That leads them to being angry, you know, depressed, you know, so on and so forth, you know? And um, we were saying how, you know, basically this truth, you know, it comforts us and, it, you know, it guides us properly in this world, okay? You know, if we, um, if we didn't have this truth, we would be in those same predicaments, all right? Always questioning things, mad at the world, okay? And, and just um, just just a, another lost, wandering soul out, you know, here in Babylon, okay, you know, but um, you know, uh, should I get that scripture where it talks about um, this word is a comfort? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what is that in the Book of John? If I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, uh, thank you, John. Seventeen. <laughs> for, um, sure, I can see. Con, I'll read it for you. Um, where is it? John seventeen. Let me see. Uh. Lahab, do you know where that's at exactly? Uh, talking about sending us another comforter? Yeah, they're yeah, talking about the comforter. Yeah, John 14 and... um. 14, yeah. And, uh, yeah, you can start. Okay. Um, this is John chapter 14. And, um... Yeah, we'll start at 14. This is John 14 and 14, and it reads here. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If, if ye love me, keep my commandments. And that, uh, I'll say this, just a side note for that uh, precept right there, or that verse. Hey, man, because you got all these Christians that say that they love the Lord, right? But they don't keep any of the commandments. You know, they, they, they still commit idolatry, adultery, eat abominable foods, etc. They really don't love the Lord. The people, who, the ones who do love the Lord, they are, are, are the brothers and sisters who are uh, who are changing, okay? Who are um, who who are putting on that that, that new man, all right? That new woman, if you of course, if they're a woman, all right, and, and, and repenting. You see? That's it, bro. And, yeah, um, there. The first verse you read said, um, "Ask anything, um, I would do it." But you have faith that to, to pray and ask to ask the Lord for the things you need, man. Mm -hmm. And the Lord knows what we need already anyway, you know. Uh, we read there, Matthew, uh, James, the first chapter. Con. You know. That's right. Um, I'll keep reading. Lahab, did you have something to say? Uh, no, it's, it, it passed. It's all okay, good. Con. Uh, John 14 and um, 16 now. And I will pray the Father, so like I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another Comforter, that He may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth Him not, neither knoweth Him, but ye know Him, for He dwelleth with you, and He 
it's like and shall be in you. And, oh, let me let me read this last verse, verse eighteen. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. And that's basically what the Lord has done. All right, He's come to us. All right, via uh, these scriptures. You know, now now we got insight of what's going on in this world. Okay, we're not out here walking aimlessly, so to speak. Okay, we 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 know that hey, there's traps set up. Okay, we know that we can't go and you know, for lack of words, you know, this field, that field. Okay, you know, we know that oh, oh, we got to go take a left, we got to take a right, stay, you know, uh, stay on the uh, uh, the right path. Oh, now we got to take a left. And then, you know, oh, we got to uh, make, make another right. And now we're, we're in the kingdom, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? We, we know where we have to go. Okay? But see, our people, the two-thirds in particular, they're just through out here. Okay? They, they're running to, as the scriptures say, I think it was in Jeremiah. They run to every mountain and every hill. Okay? Basically seeking answers. And that's why they're all messed up out here. You know, Jake is a, a, a part of the alphabet community. Jake is uh, into feminism into uh what is it democracy and they're just through look look, look at the average jake neighborhood <laughs> yeah i got a scripture for you i actually got two yeah like you but know, according uh, to what you just said uh, hold on now jake don't have no hope they, uh, they don't have the hope in the lord they hope is in this present evil world con con uh, uh la hop said he had two scriptures oh okay con, con, sorry. no it's all good uh yeah la hop you can go yeah, this is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 14. It says, That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of men, and cunning craftiness, whereby they wait and they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking truth and love may grow up into, into him in all things, which is the head, even Hamashiach. Which, hey, all those other ways, they're not they're not helping us grow towards Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, man. They're not helping us excel to do better and get the hell up out of here. All right. You know, and, and this and in these different communities of uh which all essentially go back to this beast, you know, although these things are diverse, you know, these people have their different diverse beliefs, their whole belief system is it's in the support of this whole wicked society, man. All right. And that does nothing but destroy our nation, where we yep. have this truth and it builds us on this side and it's gonna build us on the next, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, can I make a point real quick? Hey, um, there's that uh, that sticker that we always bring out. What does it say? Coexist. You know, they all they, all those um, Salakia, all those uh, 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 different um, religions. They, the the reason why they can quote unquote coexist is because at the end of the day, it's all wickedness. You know, it's all wickedness. That's why they push that. But they, the second you you know, Start bringing out the truth that you know, uh, the, the the truth about you know about the Bible, about who you are. Now it's a problem. Now you're you're a hate you're a part of a hate group and you're a domestic terrorist. That's it. Well, your script say they hate them. They rebuke it in the gate. People hate correction, man. You know, that's hey, all it boils down it's to. It's funny because people hate accountability, yeah. correction. You tell them that they wrong and all you know, you know all that stuff, man. Yep. You know, so that's why scripts say, have I become the enemy because I tell you the truth, which mm -hmm. that's a rhetorical question. Question: You do become the enemy. We tell these wicked demons the truth. Con, right? uh, Lahab, do you have something to say? Yeah, these are the people that they describe with the priest. I was watching that uh, um, Mario, and not to give it away, but one of those little, you know, little characters in there, they were all like in the cells. And he was the one with him. He was saying these deep things like, yeah, he's cute, but he's crazy. But the same are insane in an insane world. He was just cutting the shit out of them, man. Yeah. You know, they didn't like nothing. They was like, Ugh. He was clearly. Mm-hmm. Yep. Lahab. People hey, in the you, same you, you. fucking prison under Esau. You know, will they be the peon Edomites or, you know, I said, be yeah, our own uh, Your screen you kind of froze. Say that one more time. That we're locked up with whom? Yeah, we're locked up with these same. Yeah, my fucking shit is lagging. But, um, yeah, we're locked up with these people. They're going through some of the same 
things that we go through, you know, it rains on the just and the unjust alike, man. You know, but at the same time, we have the wisdom that they denounce. It, it's, it's vexing. It's like nails on a chalkboard to these people, man. All right? But we're saying the right things. And that's how it was in that show. Saying and doing the right things. I got a precept to back you up. Um, this is the book of John chapter, uh, what is that, the third chapter? Uh, this is John chapter 3 and 19, and it reads, actually, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read up above, actually, Akim. This is uh, John chapter 3, verse, uh, you know, I'm going to start at 16. This is John 3 and 16, <laughs> Christian's favorite. John 3 and 16. <laughs> John 3 and 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, and you know that that were uh the word world in that scripture there goes the cosmos, okay? Meaning basically it's a, a, a particular group of people, all right, when you look into it. And this is talking about the world of Israel, all right? You Israelites. So it says, For the Most High so loved, so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him. So you have to believe, a, uh, uh, going back to what you were saying, uh, I think it was uh, Elder Karab said, uh, you you, you got to have that faith, right? Yeah, and it says, That's it. And only Israel going to have this faith. Let's be real. Elder heathen, Esau and other heathen nations, they do not believe or have faith in the Lord. Man. It's not in them to, to, to do so, man. Only Israel was going to have that belief. And it's his father and son. You had something to say, Lahab? No, it's shit. You know, mm -hmm. the Lord did that for, for being wicked, man. That's right. Yeah, because really. Yeah, like I said, even two thirds don't have the faith right now. The Lord. Con, the scriptures say what? That faith is a gift in the, the book of Ephesians, I think the second chapter. You know, not all Israel is given that gift. Only a uh, a remnant of the, the nation of Israel is going to uh, receive that, you know. But, That's uh, it, you know. And you know, you saw the other nation, they definitely don't have it, you know. So, then you know, that, that scripture is not talking about Esau and other nations. And the Lord is not even dealing with two thirds. Hey, uh, that. That precept for that is um, the John 17 chapter. He said, uh, I, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Who are you talking about? He always praying for his elect, not the two-thirds. That's right. That's right. Uh, I'm going to keep reading. Is that cool, brothers? Uh, yeah, Bible yeah, shout yep. to the 18th. I, I, I'm going to keep reading to like the 21st. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to keep reading. This is uh, John 3 and 17 now. For the most high sent not his son, Oh, so like, let me read that last part. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yeah, you know, we're, we're not, uh, uh, if we're part of the elect, we're not going to perish, man. Hey, the Lord, you know, has uh, uh, has given us true life, man. And this is why we're able to walk in this world. This is why we have a comfort, okay? Unlike the two-thirds of our people. They're just absolutely through, man. They have no hope. They're done. Well, the, they, uh, the scriptures talk about it. They, they hope in vain things, roughly paraphrasing it. Okay. Yeah, because there's a bunch of damn wicked demons, man. Hey, and uh, really, you have prophets like uh, Jeremiah. He said, pray not for this, this people. He's talking about the two-thirds. Uh, King David said, uh, make their table become a snare, man. You know, so they, you have men of the Lord uh, putting, pretty much putting curses on two-thirds not to get this, man. Con, hey, I like to... uh. I always like to bring out in Jeremiah, or I've been bringing it out recent, uh, recently, um, how uh, you had the, uh, the prophet Jeremiah uh, pray to the Lord that they get a double destruction. Yeah, That's, that's heavy. The, the Jeremiah got to the point where he hated Jake so much that he wanted the Lord to give them a double destruction. You know, just, yeah. just meditate on that. Yeah, you know? that represents us right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. You know, so, I always remember... Uh... Apostle Gabar, Gabar said years ago, uh, when I first woke up to the truth, I remember seeing the video. Apostle Gabar said, hey, yeah, man, you brothers, you know, it's coming in this thing. You know, you know, uh, you're being long enough, you know, you're going to realize you hate two-thirds niggas more 
than uh, anybody else. You hate them more than you eat so. Yep. That's right. Um, I'm gonna keep reading, brothers. Uh, this is uh John chapter uh, uh three and seventeen now. For the most high sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. All right, you know, the, the basically the Israelites in specific gave the, the the remnant, you know. Um he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. And see, our, two thirds of our people, they're already condemned, they're through. And that's because they don't have faith in Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And this is why they walk around this world aimlessly. And like um, <laughs> Eliashawamba was bringing it out, you know, we're, 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 we're back in the, the wilderness, so to speak, as well, right? Remember uh, uh, Israel? They were wandering for what was it, forty years? Yeah. And that that should have that trip should have from uh, um, from Egypt to Israel should have maybe taken you know a couple weeks at most you know give or take because you know we had such a big you know uh, a large amount of people going from Egypt to uh, Israel. They should have only taken maybe a month at most. But the Lord made us travel for forty years due to rebellion, uh, rebelliousness. Uh, and, and, uh, and stiff neckness, man. All right. You see, the Lord did these things, man, because our people were just a bunch of knuckleheads, man. Simple as that. Okay. And that's what's happening right now. The Lord's got our people just walking around, you know, spiritually in circles, man. Not getting anywhere. Yeah. Just completely through. These people still believe in being a rapper, dunking a goddamn basketball, voting for 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 a, a goddamn po po political party. Okay, because you you have some J. Oh, I believe in the Democrats. Oh, I believe in the Republicans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These people are through, man. Through, and uh, they go back to what I quoted a few minutes ago, like with King Dave said, let the table be made a snare, a snare. You know, let Jake fall for any, you know, get into anything but this truth. Con. You know, did you have something to say? Are you still dealing with that? Uh, that yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I still, still got a little more than John here. This is uh, John chapter 3 and uh, 19. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. So that's why Jake doesn't want to uh, get into this truth because they enjoy being wicked. Like the elder Karab and I uh, always go into Jake loves Esau. They love this, you know, beast system because as the scripture say in Isaiah, the 30th chapter and round about the first, uh, starting from the first verse, uh, starting from the first verse down to the third verse, they trust in Egypt because they can do what? At sin to sin. They can continue to smoke in Newports, smoke in blunts, all right, committing adultery, committing idolatry, being a, uh, uh, worshiping the woman, all right? Uh, the, uh, well, if they're a man, they could be a baby if they identify as one, you know. Oh, I identify as an eight-year-old little girl, a little white girl. They can do that in this world. Yeah. They can marry a tree if they want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could be, uh, like I said, they could feel the lust of their flesh, man. And, but, with, you know, with the Lord, you know, the Lord is not going to cater to what they wicked asses think or, believe, or feel or believe, man. You know, that's why they have a problem with the Lord, man. Con. You know. Uh, I got... You know, it's going to go with the way the Lord says it's going to go. You know, see, Jake has a problem if you ain't rocking with what they feel and what they fucking think, man. The Lord don't do that, man. But we saw you, yeah, you can have license in. You can do whatever, you know, like you said, smoke a blunt. <laughs> do whatever, man. Yep. You know, that's why Esau is okay with them. Oh, yeah. Yep. I got a little bit more, Akim. I got two more verses. This is John 3 and 20. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds be reproved. And in order to get into this truth, you're going to be reproved or rebu rebuked, okay? You're going to be corrected in this thing. And a lot of people, they can't handle that. Constructive criticism is too much for them. Truth is honestly too much for them. That's what it comes down to. Hey, they're, they're, what is that? Uh, what's that movie? Uh, with uh, what's that fucking dude's name? Uh, you can't handle the truth, <laughs> Jack Nicholson. Ugly as hell. <laughs> yep. Hey, yeah, a few good. Yeah, that's heavy. A few good men. 
You know, that, I'll say this, you know, that's the spirit that, you know, hey, that's all the Lord's looking for, so to speak. A few good men, man. The Lord doesn't need all Israel, man. That's it. All, all the Lord needs is a few good men, so to speak. All right. And, 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 you know, just women. You know, right. So we we can uh, populate, you know, the world, uh, the, 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 uh, you know, the world again with Israelites. All right. But um, there's a little more here. It says verse 21. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be reproved that they are wrought in the most high. So, hey, the men of the Lord, they, they, they've been uh, rebuked, reproved, all right, uh, uh, corrected. And now they're changing their, their whole uh, life, man. They're becoming that new man, as we mentioned earlier. They're not that old man anymore, all right? Yeah, they, they, they're really putting on the uh, the, 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 the white garments. They, they, they got the breath of life in them, okay? You see? You know, but that's it on that scripture, Akim. I don't know if you brothers had uh, anything. Yeah, oh, so, like, uh, Elder Crop, I think the uh, Lahab, did you have something? Yeah. Um, so, like, Lahab had something. Uh, 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 Elder Crop, do you want to get yours out first? Uh, Elder, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, going back to the first scripture you read, um, it says, um, the job 14, proving that the comforter is the scriptures. Um, it's first Maccabees 12 and um, 9. It says, Therefore, we also, a bit, we need none of these things, for that we have the holy books of scriptures in our hands to comfort us. That's what these scriptures do. They comfort us, man. Now we understand why we're in a predicament we're in, man. You know, we, we understand now, man. And, and it gives us hope that we know that these things that we're going through are only temporary you know we get that way well, as jake don't have no hope they think this shit is just gonna continue on forever that the lord is never uh we're gonna be in, in captivity on esau you know forever which scriptures say otherwise see the, 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 these words uh you know you know gives up us hope man mm -hmm. you know where jake don't have hope man like I said, they hope is in this present evil world, man. Con. No. Con, is that it, Elder Crab? Yeah, that was it. Con, Lahab, you can get your scriptures. Yeah, this is um, First Thessalonians chapter two, verse. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse ten, and it says, "Ye are witnesses, and also in the Most High also. So the Most High sees what goes on on this earth as well as." The people and the brethren, you know, it's a witness in heaven and it's a witness on earth. All right. And it says how holily and justly and unblamably we have behaved ourselves among you that believe. As you know, how we're supposed to exhort. All right. And what is the exhortation? The exhortation is a correction. This world will rebuke us for correcting them, man. All right. <laughs> and, and it says this. It says. And as you know, how we exhorted and comforted, so it's a comfort to be uh to, to to be able to receive correction, man. Reason why brothers are around each other, you know, because we want to receive the light, like like the song we sing. I just wanna, yeah. Hey Lahab, you're yeah, you breaking up. Yeah, 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 Lahab just like cut off, man. That was weird. But uh, hey. Lahab, your phone's acting funny again. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, his phone's all bugged out. That is the reason why the. Man, what the hell? Hey, Lahab, uh, try to get in a better, like, spot, man, in your house. Things just started bugging. Come on. Oh, I can hear you now. Well, now it's fine. Yes, that was fucking bugged. Um, yeah, hey, but I'm going to... I'm going to, um... I'm going to read a scripture. Lahab, try to get in a better spot, but I got... I got a, uh, I got a couple. I got a couple real quick, Ak. Um, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, three, verse twenty-three. Truly, in vain is salvation hope from the hills. 
and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord, Yahweh, our power is a salvation of Israel. And see, that's our, our pro the problem with our people. They, they uh, believe in vain things, man. Okay? And those hills and mountains represent these uh, other, you know, uh, nations, these uh, the, the, the governments of, of these other nations. Okay? A, a true salvation comes from Yahweh Hashem El Shai. That's it. Okay? The scriptures talk about that in the, in the curses. No man shall uh, uh, save thee. Okay? You know? Was it Deuteronomy 28? Uh, 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 our salvation comes from Yahweh Hashem El Shai. It says in... Um, I think that's wisdom of Solomon. It talks about sovereignty. Sovereignty comes from the Most High. Okay? Not these people. Yeah. Well, what's Joe Biden going to do, man? Right. Well, he's going to tell you you can marry a cow now? You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, well, okay. you could be with a little three-year-old? That's all this guy's going to uh, tell you uh, yeah, uh, yeah, tell he, you he to do. He can't even put on his pants correctly, man. Yeah. Exactly. He can't even put on his goddamn pants, bro. Hey, this guy doesn't even know what's going on, man. This guy starts talking about aliens and... In ice cream, man, at the, in the same sentence, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know he got to talk about ice cream and little kids, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, bro. Oh, shit. It's a lot of brothers, man. That dude's a, little, a damn demon, bro. A little mild racism. <laughs> Just kind of Oh, shit, too. man. But um, I got two more. These are some quick ones. This is uh, Wisdom of Psalm in 3 and 11. For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable. All right? And, and, and you look at our people. They're miserable. All right, they 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 they're, they're not happy. Okay, they have no comfort. They try to um, you know, uh, fulfill that void with different things such as um, what uh, money, cars, you know, clothes, the hoes. You know what I'm saying? Shit, drugs, etc. That's that they, they try to fill in uh, that void with these things, carnal things. See, that's the problem with our people. They really they still believe that carnality is gonna get them the W when it's not. That's it. Shit, man, I seen actually uh still empty, two still empty as hell. Uh, Hobbs gonna say something. Yeah, no, nah, I seen like two homosexuals in the past twenty four hours, and uh, one was in my job. You know, he looked like a like like he 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 didn't look homeless. He looked like he he had a little something, but he just had enough uh like groceries. He had a stamps card, but this nigga tried to steal two bottles of Terramana. and then he tried to justify the nigga one was on his ass. And he's like, she was like, you gonna you gonna buy that? He's like. Yeah, uh, he, like first he laughed nervously because he realized he got caught. He's like, huh? You know, he was smiling and this shit. And then she was like kind of grilling him. Like, you going to get this? And then long story short, he, he acted like he was going to get it. He didn't get it. Then I seen this other mo today. He was a homeless mo. He walked up to this uh to this um lady police officer in the Starbucks. And he had a whole bottle in his hand. He, he gay as hell. But he's like all dreaded up and nappy and fucking pants hanging off his ass. And he's asking her for change. It just goes to show you that that whole mindset is is, is it shows that how destroyed you really are, man. Right? You got to feel that void to to forget that that demon is on you and all the demonic things that you're doing. No. Yep. Huh. Um, I got a little more in this. Uh, the back in Wisdom of Psalm three and eleven. For whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain, empty. Their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. And it shows. Look at look at uh, uh uh the results of being carnal. Look at Jake's uh neighborhoods. Even if they, I'll say this. Even if they so called have money or are in this world, what? Uh, you're acting like Soldier Boy. Look at Kanye West, man. Guy's out of his goddamn mind, man. All right, that dude's in a sunken place right now. Through. All right, and they're 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 just sitting there torturing that dude's mind right now. He he's in a in a basement somewhere in the middle of Montana. Okay. Get, get, getting tortured and having spells put on him. Next thing you know, he's going to come out with a great album. <laughs> a great album. He's going to have blonde hair. All right. And he's going to have some fucking, you know, uh, well, what's that dude? Uh, uh, you know, that, that, that a blade. He's going to have some blade eyes, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and on the cover. <laughs> all right. That's, what's, that's what happens, though, man. Real talk. Just com completely through, bro. Oh what? What well, you gonna you gonna be like? Uh, what a fucking uh, uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson? Look at that dude. And, and Reverend Al Sharpton. That dude's completely through. This guy went from two fifty to fucking you know a buck twenty five, bro. That dude look like he has AIDS. Yeah, that yeah yeah he does look like he has AIDS. He probably does. Yeah, that dude's through. Yeah, he's not the good skinny. He, he, he look like something wrong with him. Man. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, that, man. 
That weight loss does not look healthy at all. <laughs> yep, completely through, man. I got uh, I got one more. This is Sirach chapter 34 and 1. The hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false, and dreams lift up fools. And they, they believe in the American dream, right? They're completely through, man. <laughs> See, if you don't have the, the, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you are just going to just die out here. You're going to wither away. All right, and you're gonna just you know get war. Uh, the scriptures talk about people waxing worse and worse. Just completely done, man. You know, you had something, uh, Elder Crab? Salaki. Uh, Lahab. Uh, Lahab, did you have anything? Um, yeah, I got a scripture. Um, once again, going back to that true comfort. This is um Saint John, chapter sixteen, verse. Uh, I'm gonna just get straight to the point. In verse thirty-three, it says. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace, in the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So if you don't have your Howard Shai, you're, you're SOL. You're not going to overcome. You're going to continue to get swallowed up, and you're not going to understand why. You know, that's the reason why Jake be in this world saying, why, why, why? Well, because you're going off. All right? The Lord sent the prophets out there. To tell you that she's going off, man. Like it says in the book of um, was that the book of Luke when the rich man was talking to Abraham? He said that they they, they have the prophets, all right. If if they meant to receive it, they have the prophets, man. But you people don't listen to the prophets, man. You don't listen to him that rebuke you. Then the, what does it say? Uh, charmers, charmer, uh, never so wisely, you know. Y'all don't listen to this message, man, because it's not meant for you. You were meant to be in that lot that's going to be destroyed. And Lord willing, we be of that number that's going to be saved for doing these yeah. things and suffering for these things that we do, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God, I show you the power of the Lord, man. You know, the answer's out there, but, you know, if you don't be up, up your mind to see it, man, then you through it. Yep. You know, the Lord got to open your mind up to, to, to see and understand. Yeah. Yeah, that's why, uh, um, you can't take this uh, 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 truth for granted, and you always got to be humble and be thankful at all times because at any moment, the Lord can just, you know, zap, zap the Spirit from you. As quick as He gave you the Spirit, He could, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, strip it away from you just as quick, man. God, all right? we see it in um, Lancey pants, bro. Oh, boy. I show you, man. Yeah, man. We see how bugged out he is now, you know. Oh, yeah. That, that that's, that's scary in itself right there. Yeah, every opening of his video is just an Edomite, all right, talking in an Edomite, you know, a, a video of the scriptures right. and, and just an hour of just talking about just nothing, man. Same topic for six months, man. Dude is bugged out, man. That's some scary shit, bro. That's scary. Because yeah. if you look at his page before he, he, he decided to leave the camp, he would get into prophecies, all right? He 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 uh, uh, he, he, he touched on you know, several different topics, all right? exhortation videos to like i said pr uh, going into prophecies break you know different breakdowns now all this guy could talk about is, is uh the 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 the, the nc man that the new new covenant all day yeah. every day man the dude's out of his goddamn mind in his car man all you hear the fucking was it the blinkers yeah yeah, yeah. gone man yeah nah. crazy as fuck, man. Beat. oh yeah <laughs> you're, you're funny <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, man! But um, damn, man! You know, just just be just be grateful and be humble, man, and, and really, you know, just just try to produce as much as much as you can. Hey, be charitable, cause it's a scary thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Hey, we, we, uh, us brothers, you know that that are doing this lesson, you know, we've been around for a little bit of time, and we've seen what the Lord can do to an individual, man. He doesn't necessarily have to kill you. He'll just uh, plague you with the uh, 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 plague your mind. Then that's why the scriptures say, uh, "What? Give me any other plague but the plague what? of the heart." You know, yeah. okay. that's the worst thing. You 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 believe uh, uh, in a lie, in, you know, in a, del in a delusion. All right, you think you're right, and you're just you know uh, doing terrible out here. Yeah. <laughs> See, man. It's all yeah. Do you brothers have anything else? Uh, I mean, we said what we pretty much had to say, unless Lahab has some. No, Lahab said he, he doesn't have anything. So, uh, should I just, uh, what's the lock here? 
Oh, go ahead, brother. Yeah, so I, Should I just close it out then, or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't have nothing to for the moment. Okay. I think the point was made, pretty much. Con, con. All right, well, you know, hopefully this was edifying, you know, uh, to whomever's listening. And, uh, you know, with that, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. 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 Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all your brothers out there. And, you know, of course, a Baba Ball. Uh, so I want a Baba Ball.